Okay, I didn't go running this morning. I don't know, just wasn't feeling it. But it is like almost 10 o'clock. I'm all dressed up, about to get ready to go to my interview at the Embassy Suites Hotel. It's like a huge hotel in San Marcos. Probably gonna do some interview tips today. I think that'd be a, a good idea for a video. So yeah, today's video will most likely be over tips for job interviews. Behind me is the hotel. Um, yeah, about to do an interview. Got about 10 minutes left. Just gonna chill and uh, see how it goes. So, following up on earlier today, um, after my interview at the Embassy Suites, it went really good. I actually got offered like a different position. Um, it's a tech assistant, pretty much. AV tech, yes. Audio video tech, which is right up my alley. Um, so it's a job I'm really like really excited for. Hopefully I get it. Um, it pays really good. Has a lot of hours. But then after that, <clears throat> came back and then I had an interview at an HEB warehouse. It was okay. The pay is just as good, but it's gonna be a little bit harder work. Um, but it's just kind of a backup plan for me. So yeah, that's what I did today. So I haven't been vlogging too much today, but. I had two interviews today, two job interviews. One was at a hotel for uh, an AV tech, and then another one was at an HEB warehouse for like just a warehouse position. Both of them pay about the same. It's pretty cool, I'm really excited. Like hopefully they work out. But uh, we're gonna talk about tips for job interviews. Like I said, I've had a few jobs, so that means I've gone through like a few different job interviews few different interview processes. So definitely looking nice uh, at the same time like dressing the part is like a big thing in your interview because you only have one chance to make a first impression. That's something I've learned. Like earlier today, I was, I was had my hair combed back, I was wearing a tie, a button down shirt, some like khaki pants, you know, my white bands, my usual uh, business, little business outfit that I wear. You know, shaving, looking groomed, clean, Good hygiene, just look nice, look presentable. I know it sounds obvious, kind of, but I mean, sometimes people just don't think about that. Confidence is key for sure. Looking them in the eyes, firm handshake, and like talking clearly. I think that's a big thing for me. Like, I get really nervous pretty easily. So like, especially during like interviews and stuff. There's been times where I've like talked way too fast. I've like stumbled over my words, like, and it just hasn't sounded good. It's been like a train wreck. So definitely talking clearly, not too fast. Uh, it definitely helps. Back on the like whole confidence thing, uh, when you say something, say it confidently. If you answer a question, like, be sure about the answer. Don't hesitate when you're giving an answer. Don't go back on your answer. Like, just be confident in what you say. Be confident in your answer to uh, stupid interview questions. Um, so definitely having a personality when you interview. Like, you can give all the right answers to an interview, but if you're just like a bland, boring person, why would anyone want to hire you? Make that connection with the with the person you're interviewing with. I guess it also depends on like where you're working, because sometimes like the person that's interviewing you, sometimes they're like emotionless, they don't have any emotions, sometimes they're bland and boring. So definitely have your personality, making it like a one-on-one -on -one human interaction, uh, you know, just try to be, try to be cool, try to not tap your foot at a thousand miles an hour, try, try to not like be shaky, which I know it's hard to do sometimes, because sometimes your body just takes over um, and you just get really nervous and anxious. Kind of like what I was talking about the other day in one of my vlogs. A good thing to know is like just just know a little bit about the company. Obviously like know about the position you're applying for. Uh, a lot of times in interviews they give you just stupid stupid questions. So be prepared for stupid questions. For most positions be prepared for like very like customer service oriented questions. Questions like when was the time that you went above and beyond for the customer. Another example would be when was the time a customer was like upset with you and you did something to make it right and sometimes I mean sometimes you haven't had that experience so you just kind of have to like move it away from like a recent or like a past work experience if you haven't had any like past work experience and just um, yeah what you would do. That's, thank you Samantha. 
what you would do, um, but also like maybe something that's happened to you like in your life. That's really helpful. And to just kind of end this one, end this vlog, I guess today, you want to take it serious, but uh, if it goes, if it goes terrible, then it's not the end of the world. And if it starts kind of heading in that direction, if you feel like you're not giving very good answers, just just try to be true to yourself, try to be honest with yourself. Be honest with your interviewer. Tell them like, hey, look, I haven't really had any work experience doing this certain thing, but I've had experiences like it. I try to relax, because um, you know, they're just people after all, whoever's interviewing. They're a person too. I'm sure they've been through job interviews before. They know the nervousness, they know the, just a little bit of anxiety that comes with it. So that's the end of today's episode, vlog, whatever. I know this ending is a little different than what I usually do. Um, this is kind of going to be more of the stuff I'm going to do. Uh, obviously, I'm still going to vlog, but I just wanted to give a little bit extra. Just kind of do something a little bit different. Different. I might possibly do some like music reviews. Um, I kind of want to do some like food stuff. Uh, I think that'd be really cool. And just on like certain days that I'm like, I'm not really doing anything and I don't really have anything to vlog, like I'm not going anywhere. Um, it'll be on days like that. So yeah, that's the end of today's vlog. Hope you liked it. Take it easy. Peace.